I don't know why they didn't come with us. This is fun. <laughs> Party at Claire's. Emily stole them all from me. I can be a Wolverine Jedi. Wolverine. Princess of Alderaan. This place really bad. Good morning, Oliver. Okay, okay. I don't know what his problem is. I'm so tired. Good morning. It is May the 1st here in not Austin, Texas. We came to San Francisco over the weekend for a wedding. Two of our favorite people in the Lego community got married. It was beautiful. I cried a lot. It was fine. So huge congrats to Claire and Sands. But then when it was time to go home, we actually missed our flight, which was kind of scary and stressful. But the good news is that we get to spend release day here in San Francisco. But it's kind of a good thing and a bad thing though. The good side is that we get to spend it with our friends and also experience a new kind of release day. But the bad news is that there isn't as much hype here. And normally Normally for May to 4th, we would get there like two hours in advance. However, this time we're gonna get there like 30 minutes early and probably be in the front. So yeah, less hype, but friendship. <laughs> so I'm excited. But anyways, y'all, I haven't had my coffee yet. I'm pretty tired. The time change always gets to me. I have so much trouble like adjusting to different time zones. If anyone has any advice, let me know. But yeah, it's time for food and coffee. That means you want another one. Nom, 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 nom. We have a little breakfast party at Claire's. Josh from Josh Build Stuff. Holly. Oh, also Josh from Dawson. <laughs> <laughs> so Good morning. Good morning. So alive this city is. I like that all the buildings are perpendicular and parallel. On the stairs. On the stairs. <laughs> about 9 45 they open at 10 which feels kind of crazy getting here so late especially compared to like when we need to be here in austin star wars star wars <laughs> star wars what are we getting ross star wars okay star wars star wars i think really we're just going to try to get the two diorama sets so that way we can get the gift of purchase and we don't have to take too much back on the plane literally the lego bag is gonna be our carry-on <laughs> we'll see how it goes two dioramas that gets us to about like what 180 dollars we only need 150. Plus any pab we find. I'm excited. We have Holly back there too. <laughs> the city's so chaotic and you really gotta watch where you step. It's a beautiful city, but only if you look up. <laughs> it's Ladybird. Aw, Ladybird. <laughs> Star Wars Day this year is already so much better than last year, right? The fact that all Star Wars sets are on VIP is huge. There's a few they're trying to get rid of around five times VIP. I think Europe has a little bit of a better option than we do, but I'm just happy everything's on double VIP, honestly. Exactly. Last year, it was so hard trying to find things to meet that gift with purchase threshold. It was really disappointing. But in other news, y'all check this out. We are the first ones at the Lego store. Actually, I guess me and Ross are third. Oh well, Holly and Josh beat us. All right, Josh, so you live in Austin, right? Yeah. Is, this, uh, is this normal for a May the 1st release day? Uh, it's not typical, no. This is pretty insane. There's nobody in line here. Whereas, you know, in Austin, there'd be a line all the way to the end of the hallway. It's know, just us. Yeah, I don't know what's <laughs> going on. <laughs> <laughs> we might. I always love seeing the different model designs at the different stores. So, okay, this one's really cute. It's like a nautical sailor dude drinking his coffee with a little buoy next to him. He is adorable. It kind of looks like Ross. Wait, Ross. This guy looks like you. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's you. So nautical. Nailed it. Whoa. Oh, wow. That's why we're here. This is what we're seeing at first time in person. Wow, it looks really good, actually. Something really funny about the indoor set is it's actually an outdoor set. What a... <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm so happy though that they finally like release sets that count towards the gift with purchase and towards double VIP. This is incredible. We're getting those two today, bringing them home with us on the plane like weirdos in order to get this beautiful coin. Look at that. So pretty. As well as the tiny X-Wing. It's just a little baby. So small. And then there's another gift with purchase. I don't see it up here though. It's time. Are you excited? Game time. Game Let's time. go. Good morning. Well, we were going to get in, but uh, Jedi forced us out. <laughs> He's dressed up like a Jedi. It was, it's funny. It's worth it. It's absolutely crazy though. It's like 9.55, we have five minutes till they open. There's a few of us in the front. This is like basically our whole group. And then like three other people. How many do you think are at the Austin store right now? Like two, three hundred? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Ross in action, doing great. Holly, I thought you were only getting CMFs. Did you cave? And I'm like, I could get this. 
Yeah. But I don't know. I was like, I'll pick it up and then if anything yeah. happens, I can put it back down. Hold on to it. Yeah. Whoa, Disney 100. Y'all, I just got chills. Look at this. Okay, so this is the royal clamshell. The, yeah, Little Mermaid royal clamshell. I built the first six bags of this and honestly, it was not an enjoyable build just because it's so structural and just like not really fun to look at. But bag one is basically like the King Trident Ariel section. So that was really fun. And I will say that looking at it in person is so much better than on the box. Like the box art, I was kind of like, what is this? Not really feeling it. In person, it's really pretty, but then check this out. When we switch around to the back side, it's like, you know, it, it looks like that. And I don't think I've been to the Lego store since all of these brick heads came out. Well, I guess not, not those, but these here, the fill-ins. And then do they have Wally? I feel like Wally's been sold out for the longest time. This one too online. If you're looking for an up house, they have it in San Fran. Whoa, what is what is this thing? I feel like I haven't seen this before. What is What is happening here? That piece is incredible. I want that for like Halloween Town or something. I haven't seen this before. I never look at like the four plus Marvel stuff, but this is neat. And then the little Ariel storybooks. I love how these look on the shelf, but frankly, just don't care at all about anything inside it. Like, I wish that these were half the price with nothing included. I just, I just like the books. I don't know. I like the books. It's time for the pabbers. How you doing, Ross? What'd you find? We are getting a ton of these one by one nougats, light nougats. Got a lot of one by two of these same colors and Emily stole them all from me for Rivendell. Um, but I think these would be really nice for making some awesome topography. So I'm really excited for this. Don't know how we're gonna get this on the plane. <laughs> we'll do okay, we'll figure it out. They have a lot of red studs. They have some white jumpers as well. If we didn't have a bunch, I would be picking them up today. They have these like door car pieces that are kind of fun. Some green 1x2 bricks, some 2x4 bricks, some red little sloopy guys, blue plates. These would actually be really good for the ocean. I might convince Ross to grab some later. They have those guys. We have these on our pick a brick wall, but it's like, what do I do with them? I'm never sure like how to use those pieces. These are literally the red roses pieces. So if you want to build a ton of roses for yourself, like here they are. We have a bunch of these gold pretty pieces at home as well. I don't know what they're called actually. It's like the one by one brick with the little swirly thing. Ooh, but then I know Ross will want to pick up some of these as well. These one by two plates. They don't have a lot. Huh? Yeah, they're, they're very low on those. Some coral dots, some nice little tiley doodles. We have a bunch at home though. One by one bricks, one by two bricks. These things, I don't know how to use these. I feel like it'd be kind of nice for the beach to like build up landscape with the curves, but I also don't want to lug them home. And then I was so excited. Check these out. They have the leafy guys here. And then I'll just kind of pan over these things here. I don't need any of this, but in case you're in the San Fran area, come check it out. These are really nice too. I have a ton of those. This would be good for like, maybe like a gray landscape of some sort, like around Middle Earth, if it's like gloomy or something. These would be great if they were like green. And I think that's about it. So yeah, these, a bunch of those, and then whatever Ross is doing. It's kind of a mix, got some one by twos and then uh, one by two uh, bricks. I'm gonna get some of these bracket pieces come in handy a lot for Minecraft stuff I've been working on. I love that they're playing Star Wars music here. That is incredible, but check this out. So they have the little baby X-Wing here, the coin and this like blueprint thing going on, pretty neat. And then they don't actually have it built, which is kind of sad, but they do have the gift with purchase. You know, here's all the info for it. Another thing I always love checking out at Lego stores is how they display their Bowser. Ross, come check it out. They have Bowser holding that little centipede dude oh, nice. from Atari. That's cute. <laughs> Nintendo wins. Side note, does anyone else have the Peaches song in their head constantly? Sans just pointed out that they have these lightsaber pins now. Look at these. They're like $4 and they're so much fun. Do they light up? I hope oh. they light up. <laughs> no, darn it. Okay, I almost actually forgot about this set. So the other day I was online looking through the new Disney stuff and I saw this. I was like, what is happening? I've not seen anything about this. It was like a giant castle and look at that little rose. Turns out it was Duplo, which I am like not really into, but look how cute it is. That's actually adorable. They have so many castles out right now. It's like the Duplo, the giant princess one, the baby castle, and then this castle as well. I'm just so excited for whatever that new castle is. There's so many rumors about a new giant Disney castle coming soon, and I am all about it. I hope it's beautiful. I hope it's huge. They also have a really good build a minifig right now. Like, look at these. They are so, so cute. I really want to get the skeleton dude. 
Ross wants that horsey one at the top. What about the orange brick dude? I like orange brick. I was thinking 116 and 30. 116 and 30. 116 and 30. Yeah, no, we could do that. Okay, y'all, this was really cute. So one of the Lego store employees pulled out these very silly little, what, hat things, headband things. There's a Luke one, there's a Leia one, and I'm not wearing it because I'm wearing a beanie and Ross is wearing a hat, but I love them. I'll probably wear them later, honestly. There's a doggy. Okay. All right, and you are princess of Alderaan. This looks really bad. <laughs> I don't feel like a princess. Well, you, you look like one. Smell like one too. No. You look more like Wanda. <laughs> so yeah, much. it's more of a Wanda look. I hate this. <laughs> okay, yeah, I get this off. Mm. I want my beanie back. Escalator, 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 escalator. Let's escalate this to the next level. Ross loves escalators. Oh wait, our friends are waiting on us because we are being stupid with like the Leia hat and <laughs> wasting everybody's time. <laughs> Sorry guys. Whoa! Can we ride these escalators? Just once? They're so hurry, cool. Hurry, okay, hurry. okay. This escalator spins, which wow. I hear is a, uh, a neat trick. Wow, this is so cool. They do the spinny doodles. Oh, wow, it goes all the way to the top. Whoa, wait, we didn't notice that. Where are we? There's <laughs> six floors of spinning escalators. This is crazy. We're gonna head back down now, though. I feel kind of bad they're just waiting there. I don't know why they didn't come with us. This is fun. The mall is like very small, but very tall. Wow, this is so cool. It's like Disney World. Whoa. No, no, no. Do you want one? <laughs> what did you buy? We just got back from the Lego store. We're not doing a car haul today, but this is our car haul. It's just a little bit different. Oh, show get? us what you got. What'd you get? I have a medium bag. So I only bought a couple of things. The first thing I got was I had to get a Disney minifigure. This is the, by far the thing I am most excited about. Um, I'll feel this one just so we can tell. So I don't want to open them just yet. A Nosso de la Cruz. He's in here. Ooh. And then the second thing that I got um, is a Lego Disney minifigure. So wow. Like this one, again, really excited about this set. Not quite as much as the Lego Disney minifigure, um, but still really <laughs> excited. This one, if I feel him up, this is Robin Hood. I can feel his like bow and arrow. Cool. And then I also have a Disney 100 minifigure. Um, wow. Not really excited for this. Like, I just picked it up because I was like, why not? It's there while I'm there. Nothing too special about that. And then um, a Disney minifigure um, and uh, another Disney minifigure and a, another one. I just bought 18 of them. That's just how many they let me have. <laughs> oh so God. I bought like all, wow. all, as many as they'd let me. And I couldn't feel for them. So I'm really hoping that I've got Pinocchio and the Evil Queen because that's what I need. Awesome haul. The Holly. <laughs> Holly Hall. Quali. <laughs> It was May 4th, so it was Star Wars Day. It was the only gift with purchase. So I directed all my attention to that and did some basic, basic arithmetic. I may not know what these are, but I did get two sets of promos. So this one is the nature scene. <laughs> we got that one. <laughs> Woo! And then we got the um, arrowhead. This one looks Love nice it. to me too. Yeah, oh wait, I think, no, I, this was the one I was most excited about. I did look online and it was sold out, so I went directly for it. One of the cool things was I went into the <laughs> store and I was like the first person and I've never done that. So I turned to Ross and I was like, do you just take it <laughs> off the shelf? And he was like, yup. Yeah, just grab it. I just, just grab it. I was like, is that polite? Okay, here we go. I like this one. It looks like a little vanity mirror. Oh, cute. Yeah, you know, it's cute. I like it. No, Pal that's Palpatine. I do know who that is. Um, and then I know that Sans has been wanting this one. So, um, to add to his like Bible first collection and stuff. So these are, you know, these are sets for Sam's is really the reality here. But, um, then we got uh, the little golf ball to go with the arrowhead. <laughs> and then we got the other little golf ball. It is convenient that they do put it on a little like stand for you to hit it. So that's nice of them. It's yeah, that's really nice of them. And then, um, just like, just like Holly, we got 18 of these. I, we haven't found these early, so I'm excited to get into them. And then we're going to do some tradesies to see so we can all get full sets. That would so, be good. Yeah. If you didn't know, I like Disney. We had no idea. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! 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 We also got these hotel room key cards. I'm not sure what we're going to do with them. Um, this is also a token or maybe a paperweight. It's quite... Turkey um, cheese coin. Oh, well, it's all right. It, anyway, but I'm excited for the hotel keys. Uh, you know, actually, Sans collects trading cards, so maybe this will fit into one of the slots. Mm. And then that's that's about all we can do with it. You know, laser cut stuff is kind of cool sometimes, I guess. And and then we got two of the poly bags, the little, um, these little X-Wings. I like these things. Um, this is the new UCS X-Wing. Um, it's 
conveniently placed in this bag. And then when you open it, it's, it's as big as the one that you see in store. It's like one of those add water things. It's, it's incredible cool. how to yeah. do that. It's, it, yeah. This is come to the MSR's channel for all the accurate Lego information. <laughs> Thank you, Oliver. <laughs> He's a paid actor. <laughs> Just a selfie of you wearing it, yeah, and then just like, because it needs no to be like action. that, and then yeah, yeah, and even if it's on a kid's head, it would curve even more. Yeah, it would be, would, yeah, it'd be even like it, like yeah, because it just doesn't look like Leia's hair just looks like poop. All right, I don't know how I'm gonna be funnier than these two, so I'm just gonna do my best. We got the indoor outdoor set. The joke's been used a lot. Sorry. We got Palpatine's bathroom. I'm actually really stoked about this. The window looks really nice. I didn't get the like playset version of this that came out a year or a few years ago. Uh, so I'm excited to get this one, and it'll go good with my Return of the Jedi collection. Um, talking on that, too. Got one of these. We're going to try to get another one of these, because I want one to rock and one to stock. So we'll see what happens with that. And then we also got the little BDX wing. This is my pristine poly bag that'll get crushed in transit. We have one of these. That looks pretty cool. Oh. That's all right. That's, oh, that's cool. It's got like Star Wars embroidered on that the back. That is cool. I like this more than I think I like this. I don't know what to do with this. I think this will be nice because you could bury this and like in 300 years, it'll be worth a lot of money. We got some pab cups over here. We got a lot of these one by one light nougaty colors. Um, pretty stoked. And then we got kind of this little gradient going on here. Just a bunch of stuff I want for my Minecraft. And then I haven't showed you guys the best thing yet. Uh, it isn't these, but we got these as well. Who cares? And then check these out. These are brand new at the Lego store. Lego lightsaber pens. It is incredible. I've been going around pretending to be Mace Windu all morning. Check that out. So you take it out there and you can write love letters, death letters, letters to your ex. It's awesome. And yeah, look at that. And it's a little like lightsaber piece. So I'm pretty excited about this. For some reason, they don't have it in blue. It's only purple, red, and uh, green. So maybe we'll get a blue one one day. But I really like these. I like when they make things like this. Check this out. I can be a Wolverine Jedi. Wolverine. Wolverine. Wait, I forgot this one. Um, we also got some build a minifigs there. They did it a little bit weird. They just like pick your minifigure and they build it. But I'm really excited for the little My Little Pony Warrior. Uh, Sans, I think, actually got three of these. We got an orange brick dude, and we got a strawberry shortcake. You can guess which one of us wanted that one. Um, <laughs> but I'm very excited about the My Little Pony Warrior. All right, surprise bonus room tour. We're gonna go over Claire and Sansa's uh, Lego room over here in San Francisco. Claire, the plastic architect, and Sans, gutter chicken. Check this out. So Sans is a huge fan of Yoda, so he has all this crazy, ridiculous Yoda, Lego Yoda merch. He even has the very exclusive New York, I Heart New York Yoda. There was only like a hundred of those or something. They gave it out at Times Square a few years ago. They are not cheap. So this is a really impressive Yoda collection. I asked him, why does he like Yoda so much? And he says, oh, I think Yoda's cool. So it's kind of interesting here. He actually has all the different like Yoda's huts uh, last year's. This is like the 2000, I want to say 2004-ish oh, wow. one. Uh, that <laughs> is came that with Luke This there? excellent. Yeah, that's the old school Luke. That's actually a really nice torso. I like that one a lot. His face. Um, and then uh, that's the more recent one, I think 2017, 2018, around then. And then down here, he's got a little bit of Baby Yoda. He's not as big a fan here, but he has a really cool Mandalorian collection. As you go, you see the Mandalorian, how he upgrades over time. He put uh, a little Baby Yoda in the little um, arm thing so he can say yes, 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 no. <laughs> I like it a lot. And then he's got a few of the different Mandalorians over here. Actually, it's interesting. He's gone up in value a lot since his set retired. Um, I don't think he's too terrible, but I would try to get him now if you can. Looking down here, this is always really funny. This is the OG Tumblr. The big funny story we always make fun of Claire about is she bought this the day before the remake was announced. <laughs> and uh, so that she, sucks. yeah. So it's, wow. Uh, we always make fun of her for it. Um, but she's cool with it. And then here's what's really cool is they actually have the piece, the real problem with this set for the Back to the Future is that that door doesn't stay open. So they have the piece that the Lego store had where you can put that little acrylic and keep the doors wide open. Oh. So that's just something really cool. You know, that's not a piece you can just get. Uh, you have to know a guy who knows a guy to kind of get something like that. Moving on here, keeping it with the May the 4th stuff to have all these different promos. I think I only have the Solo Mud Trooper. But Sans is a much better Lego Star Wars fan than I am. So he's got the Scarab Stormtrooper, uh, an Astromech DJ, uh, Kessel Mineworker. I really want him. That one's cool. Yeah, yeah, I really like that. And then moving on here, he's got some other stuff. He's actually working on something 
called The Chicken Knights. Um, it's one of his many side projects here, and he went through, I believe, some different third-party companies like Citizen Bricks, and he has some funny printing going on here. Um, and then there's Sands on a gutter, gutter chicken. Um, that's what that's what his whole branding is. <laughs> Moving over here, this is actually him uh, back when he used to work at the Lego store. And uh, so they made a little monument to his, uh, his first job, I guess. And then uh, I really like this golden... OG Boba Fett and then boom that's actually him and Claire getting married isn't that cute one of the most impressive things about this room though is how organized they are like look at this all of the different plant elements are separated like I just put all the flowers together they actually have them separated out and literally every drawer is like this all the different types of windows and doors I'm just kind of going through and opening up random drawers here but look at this it's like sorted by color and piece they are they are on top of it this is so good I'm jealous I need to be more like them. Literally everywhere I open, it's beautiful. <laughs> Even their Harry Potter wands, look at this, sorted by color. It's incredible. Looking back here, I really like what they did with the uh, May the 4th displays from years past, and they put them in these little display boxes with the nice backgrounds in the back. I, I think it really looks cool. I never opened mine. Mine are all still in the box, but this is just a really nice little way to display all of them and keep the dust off of it. Some really cool stuff here. He's a big fan of Lego Indiana Jones. He has a lot of these really cool Dublo blocks here and there. Probably one of my favorite sets too. I have this set as well with the truck with the canopy over it. And you know, it's uh, in Raiders of the Lost Ark. So I really like how he displays all this. He's got a mixture of some third-party company sets of similar trucks. Down in here, you can see kind of, not too well, you can see some Crystal Skull sets. Uh, I think it's really cool. So he's got a lot of exclusive stuff. I remember this one being a pretty big deal where you can spin. I don't remember where it comes from exactly. Sands is really into the really eclectic things when it comes to Lego, but you can spin it around Han Solo and then he's Indiana Jones. It's just a really cool thing. <laughs> Moving over here, they got a little bit of Bad Batch mixed in and then the Iron Man Hall of Armor. They combined the old and new sets the best they could and I think they did a really good job of putting it all in. I'm gonna make fun of him later because he's got a lot of empty spots. Moving up here, I really like what they did here. They kind of combined all these different like ints and other tree builds. So they have Groot. I think they have Baby Groot, but they modified it to look a little bit more terrifying. <laughs> yeah. And then this one's actually from the Minecraft dungeon set. I need to grab this one. I really like it. And it has a lot of cool little Minecraft elements to it as well. I like the printed pieces here. The Vikings. So this is one of those OG Lego themes. I really wish Lego would revisit. They kind of did recently with the Viking ship, the creator one. Uh, however, this is the Viking Fortress. This is probably the mecca of all the uh, the Viking, other than the giant Viking boat. And I really like these uh, iridescent looking, I don't know what you would call them, these matted uh, ore pieces that you can fling through the catapult. Set was amazing, way ahead of its time. Talking about really rare things, they have the entire Avatar The Last Airbender uh, Lego collection. And you're thinking, wow, they have the entire one? It's because they only ever made two. Uh, so they have the Fire Nation ship, and then they have the Air Temple there in the background. They actually have the figures on the other side of the room on display, but it's really cool to be able to see these in person. Then over here, they have a little bit of Lord of the Rings mixed with the Hobbit. Um, they have a little bit of the Helm's Deep over there on the side mixed with uh, some Mirkwood Elves, so that's pretty cool. Uh, they, they needed to step up their Lord of the Rings, I think. Claire is really proud of this collection. Claire is an OG Monkey Kid fan. Uh, I personally think Monkey Kid is one of the best themes in terms of like just building. Uh, they're great sets. I wish they were marketed a little bit better to the US market because a lot of you probably haven't even heard of Monkey Kid or barely know of it, but the sets are fun. They're very imaginative and I really enjoy the building process for it. We The only Monkey Kid sets we have is the HQ boat as well as the uh, City Lanterns, I think is what it's called. Yeah, I think so. Um, really like those. And then down here, I'm really proud of this little Yoshi collection he has. They're not big on the Lego Super Mario stuff, but he really likes Yoshi, so he went and collected all the different color Yoshis that are currently available, as well as the baby Yoshis. I just think it's really cute. This is the infamous wind tower that Sans got from his ex-lover. Uh, I really like how massive this is. This is my first time actually seeing it in person. I don't know why he has an infatuation with wind towers. I guess he's just really into renewable resources. So good on him. 
proud of him for that. And then moving over here, I believe this was called um, Queen Anne's Revenge? Someone in the comments remind me what this one is called, but this one is an awesome looking set. It looks like it'll break if I just sneeze on it. <laughs> so I'm not gonna touch it, but it's really cool. This is one of the most coveted Pirates of the Caribbean set. And of course, they got one of Emily's all-time favorite sets. The Scooby! Haunted Mansion, <laughs> Mystery Mansion. And Jeez. then they have Ninjago City. I think that's the OG Ninjago City, right? Oh, wow. Actually, yeah, yeah I think so. Y'all, I am actually pretty happy that our flight didn't end up working out. Like, we had to rearrange some things and, like, deal with Ladybird, like, who's gonna watch her today, all that kind of stuff. But I'm really happy that we could spend an extra day with our friends. And the Lego store here was incredible. We had the best time. And it was not hectic at all. It was so chill. There were, like, maybe 30 people there, max. I was shocked. We had a really good time. I'm glad things worked out the way they did. Anyways, I think Claire is making us lunch because she is incredible and the best chef y'all seriously Claire's food is so good thanks everyone so much for watching and I'll see you soon <laughs> bye